Good morning everyone, Strip Cal. We are playing some more Fantasy Star 4. Today we are continuing our exploration of the planet Rykros, where we are have been tasked with uh, two trials in the form of the Courage Tower, which we conquered last time, and the Strength Tower, which we're heading towards right now. Uh, the Courage Tower is was full of defensive gear for us and had a very magic-resistant boss. I, the Strength Tower looks like it has a bunch of weapons in it, so I'm kind of getting the vibe that that's how that's going to work. The differentiation, kind of like the uh, the two towers that are in uh, Final Fantasy V. Hey, Rika finally did something. Uh, so yeah, I'm not sure. Last time magic like didn't work at all, so I'm hoping that the, this is not the same deal where physical attacks just don't work. But it might be. We'll see when we get to the boss. Uh, the enemies on the way are going to be the same. Oh, those guys merge into a bigger guy. Interesting. Pulse Vulcan. Uh, we ended last time with some shopping. restocked fully on our top tier healing items. This should be leading us to two of the items again, the Guard Rod, which technically we can equip on Rune, but... Why? It's two-handed, it significantly drops his defenses to do that. So I think we're going back to uh, Psy Shield, Silver Shield. Air slash everybody, blast everybody with a cannon. Negatus did not hit all three, which is unfortunate. Probably could have just used Hume or something along those lines and been fine. That's okay. I haven't gotten to use Negatus. I will also repeat my earlier sentiment, I cannot wait until we get our fifth character back because these dungeons have basically 
left me with no question as to who I want with me. <laughs> you get to pick from any of your former party members, excepting Alice and Seth, for obvious reasons in both cases. And... Um, the, I, I, I was going back and forth between... I mean, all the characters except Riz are pretty solid as choices. Um, Grizz hits things really hard. He does not contribute much else to the party. Um... Han gets a lot of combos and gets single target healing. But I feel like single target healing at this point is not cutting. Um, Demi has really weak multi-target healing and can't be hit by Rika's multi-target healing. Which is, I feel, a reasonable concern. I've you I've tried using Rika or uh, Demi and Ren for the final party before. And I did end up getting a little bit frustrated at times because it's very picky about what you can and can't use for healing, because you have two androids in the party. Um Kyra is really good. But I don't feel like she pulls... Uh, she also has a lot of combos and stuff. But I don't feel like that's really what we need for that last section. So I'm really leaning towards Raja, even though the other characters have a lot more cool combos that I've never gotten to see. Um, Raja's just really solid. off there, switch Ren's weapon. Ah, you finally come. They come and they come, but they're all sissies. I've been getting kind of bored. If you've passed LaRue's scrutiny, then t try and take me if you can. Okay. So normally I use Saner for the first turn, but the vibe that I was getting is that this is going to be a physical attacker. So I wanted to get D-Ban down on the first turn, so we had a full bear. I think I made a good call. We're gonna go ahead and use Saner on the second turn. Positron Bolt. Grand Cross. Grand Cross does almost nothing. Good to know. So both of these enemies are pretty much immune to hold. Let's toss a Geesar down. I guess... Yeah, let's go... What would that be? Now what? And... Nazan? 
This is probably going to end up as Blizzard. Let's see what happens, though. That does one. Okay. So Chaz might be the one who's kind of eat. No, no, Nathu works fine. Okay. Yeah, I... Whatever I did, either the site was wrong or I was wrong when I was pulling my data for this fight. Or for the both of the boss fights here. Um, like, we're gonna be fine. I'm not worried about it. But... Yeah, I think it's Gisar, Plot, Thu. I'm actually curious. ahead and Stardew. I should have been using crosscut the whole time. My theory about physical attacks was wrong. You're better than I thought. That's comforting. Go ahead and take these objects. They are the proof you need. Palma Rain. Um, let's get rid of our telepipe. So Rika gets one. Ren gets the Palma Ring. Go ahead and toss the escapipe. And the Dezo ring goes to Rune. Silence Temple. Ah, Protectors, you have carried out your mission well. 
You have proven yourselves, and I can enlighten you with the secret of Algo's genesis. Many billions of years ago, a spiritual life form split into two lesser beings, who eventually began to fight. After a long and terrible battle, there was finally a victor. The winner banished the enemy spiritual life form to another dimension. We call the victorious side the Great Light, and the defeated side the Found Darkness. Light and Darkness. The Great Light feared the resurrection of the Profound Darkness and placed a seal over the dimensional portal. A seal? That's right, a gigantic seal of three planets on one fixed star. Can't be. Yes, the Algo Solar System. The Great Light distributed protectors of the seal between three tribes, the Parmanians, Motavians, and Desilosians. However, there were fluctuations in the strength of the seal. Once every thousand years, its power would weaken drastically. Warning of this phenomenon, uh, the Great Light created Rygros, which returns to Algo once every thousand years. And myself. What use is an invisible planet as a warning? The Great Light knew that through the generations, the protectors would forget their mission, so Rygros was designed to break its silence when the seal's final moment came, to remind the protectors of the mission they were born to do. The seal's final moment? What do you mean by final moment? Throughout time, the profound darkness has seethed within, animosity and the need for revenge. And once every thousand years, when the strength of the seal weakens, the most intense part of the profound darkness's hate-filled spirit is able to break through the portal and come to Algo. So that's what the Dark Force was. Every time a courageous person would defeat Dark Force and bring about a brief period of peace. But the profound darkness is patient, and finally it destroyed the plan to Parma means part of the seal is gone. That's right, now a thousand years later, the profound darkness is trying to break completely free at last. The seal's final moment. Are you saying it's happening now? Maybe. Maybe? The darkness will come again and wield its frightening power and completely break the seal, or, or someone will conquer the darkness and render the seal meaningless. Someone like us. Protectors, listen carefully. If the darkness escapes the seal, that is, the Algo solar system will certainly be destroyed. The only way to prevent this is to go to the darkness in its dimension and destroy it. As long as you have those rings of the stars, you should be able to withstand the largest part of the power of the darkness. So the time has come. Obey the will of the great light and attack the profound darkness. This is the very mission that you as protectors have been born to. Who do you think we are? Chance? I've been listening patiently and you keep talking about this mission. I'm not going to fight for no mission. And anyway, where's this great light now? What's it doing? The great light is no longer present in this galaxy. It's gone far away. You're telling me he hands down missions and goes off somewhere. Give me a break. Missions? Protectors? Who the heck cares? It has nothing to do with us. No way am I going to fight for someone like that. I'm going to live by my own will. Chaz! There's no s one single truth, Chaz. Chaz Ashley, you have set foot on Rykros. You must hurry, whatever path you choose. Chaz, what are we to do? Rune? To tell you the truth, I don't know what's going on. When Alice died, you explained things to me. Rika tried to lift my spirits, but in truth, I didn't really understand. I could only see that the person who taught me everything had died. I would sacrifice I would have sacrificed anything, even my life, for the peaceful repose of Alice's soul. Gradually I found out there are people who depend on me. That's all fine, isn't it, Chaz? And have the fate of all Algo rest on my shoulders. Moreover, this fighting is a mission handed down from the Great Light. We have to dance to its tune. We're no different than Zeo. Hmm. Can't blame you for thinking that way, but. Chaz, there's someone I want you to meet. Let's go to the Esper Mansion. The answer lies there.
You're a friend of Cairo, please come in. I'm assuming we're supposed to be going back to Rune's Chamber here. But I'm not actually sure. We're borrowing the inner room again. I've got something to give Chaz. Surely you're not going to give that to a youth like this. Youth? There's no one other than Chaz. You've got to believe me. I understand, Reverend Fifth One. I will say no more. Secret tunnel. Chaz, the sacred sword Elysidion waits you. The sacred sword Elysidion. It's probably the one and only weapon that has the power to destroy the profound darkness. So Chaz, alone, go and meet with Elysidion. Meet Elysidion. That's right. And at that time, you should find the answer you're looking for. If you want to grind Chaz up quick, <laughs> these guys go down in one hit. So this is the sacred sword, Sidion. What? I hear a voice from somewhere. Ah, you've made it, Chaz Ashley. This is the place where the spirits of those who fought to protect Algo return to. Sidion is the sword. Sheltered by those spirits. Now, Chaz, you must take a city on in your hands. Hey! Wow! So, these are flashbacks of the characters from, I believe, Fantasy Star, mostly two and three. Um, it may also be one. I'm not 100% sure. And then it ends with Alice. So you are Chaz, whom Rune selected. You were able to understand. Chaz, I trust to you the care of El Sidia. All of our thoughts are stored within that sword. We will all be with you, Chats. Always. So, don't worry. Leave it to me. I knew it. Alcidian promised that it would give you power. There was no mistake in my judgment. Chats, let's go save Algo. Right. We're doing it for all life and now and to create a future that is truly free of terror. Future unbound at last from the evil of the past. For that, I will fight. Let's conquer, Chaz. We're out of We have an emergency. Demi informs us that a disaster has erupted on Motavia. Chaz! All right, let's hurry back to Motavia. Okay. Oh? Um, I think... This is going to be a good stopping spot here. I'm not 100% sure how long the ending is going to take to get through. But offhand, we may be able to do... This might be the, the penultimate episode. 
because the last dungeon that we've got, the last two dungeons we've got are pretty short. Um, so we've got a bunch of cutscenes. We're gonna have to do some character customization and some macro setup. And then we'll hopefully be finishing the game off. We'll have to see. Either way, hopefully you're still enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.